the future champions, Novices Chase, next then. And the top one is retained, Jay Shea. Satan's Curse, Jim Murray, The Ghost, Joshua Sutherland, Bloxy Blues, John's Jumpers, Flaming Ted, K Minahan, Grey Emblem, Thunderspark, C. Darren D. Thompson, Starland, David Robertson, Until Dawn, Graham Clutterbuck, and Rosa Motta is Paul Rhodes. Uh, being called in there, and away they go. And slightly smaller field for this race than some of the races we've got today as we take the first of the 16 fences and it's Satan's Curse that has the lead from the grey grey emblem in the brown jacket on the outside and the grey on the rail in the purpley pink is Biloxi Blues the grey in the black and the red is the ghost and the grey in the turquoise and the purple is Starland so we've got four greys in a field of ten as we take fence number three, we're all still standing, and Satan's Curse has got the inside and has just got the lead from Grey Emblem. Then comes Flaming Ted, and Biloxi Blue is retained in the green. And you can see Until Dawn has got the inside rail with the red with the blue sleeves as well. Just towards the back of the field is Rosa Motta in the red and black. That's the bay horse in the red and black rather than the grey one. And as they take fence four, they'll jump in nicely. And grey emblem has now opened up a lead of about three lengths. So grey emblem it is then. Shows the way to Satan's Curse in second. As they take that one, a bit of a nod on landing from Flaming Ted towards the rear of the field. The jockey just shaking that one up a little bit now to get its concentration back as they take fence number six. And Flaming Ted jumped it slowly but safely. It should be back on an even keel now then, as until Dawn comes up on the outside of Grey Emblem. We've retained in third. And Satan's Curse and Starland as they take number seven. Oh, we've lost one there. It's C. Darren. C. Darren's a faller. C. Darren's out of the race. Crashing fall at fence number seven right in front of the stand as they pass the big screen and pass the winning post with a complete circuit. To go and grey emblem on the inside of until dawn and comes satan's curse starland and retained with biloxi blues just behind them and comes the ghost and then flaming ted and finally rosa motta so nine still left in it then and a mile and a quarter to race you can see they're standing the distance as they just race uphill slightly and it's Grey Emblem showing the way to Until Dawn. Retained Starland and Biloxi Blues. Over number eight they go. Downhill fence there as they land downhill. That's going to be a tricky one. And they all jumped it nicely. And now they start to just climb a little again as they run uphill to this next one. And over that one they all go nicely. And lots of motor just finding the pace a bit hot towards the rear of the field. And Grey Emblem. As I now find myself just going slightly downhill again. It's very up and down this track, and they take that next fence there, and they're all safely over that one, although Rosa Motta does appear to be slightly detached. But it's Grey Emblem in the lead from Retain as they take number 11. Over that one they go, then Grey Emblem Retain, Starland, Until Dawn, Satan's Curse, The Ghost, Biloxi Blues, Flaming Ted. All in the picture and all in with a chance. And Rosa Motta looks well out of touch as they take number 12. What a mistake again at the back by Flaming Ted. That's the second bad mistake he's made as they pass the five furlong pole. And Grey Emblem takes them left handed towards home with Starland in second. Retained in third until Dawn 4 and Satan's Curse 5. And then Biloxi Blues is 6. The Ghost is 7. And Flaming Ted is 8. As they fake take fence number 13, and we've lost one there. Starland's gone. Starland's out of the race. Unseated the rider at that one. That's three to jump then now. And it's Grey Emblem and Satan's Curse at the third last. Good jump by Grey Emblem. Gets away from it well. Satan's Curse is in second. Biloxi Blues and the Ghost are next. Then retained until Dawn and Flaming Ted. Inside the final two furlongs. Over the second last. Good jump by Grey Emblem. But a better one by Satan's Curse. And Satan's Curse is making ground on the outside. And is beginning to close. And as they come into the final fence. It looks like he's just going to take the lead. Coming up to the final fence then. Satan's Curse jumps it in the lead. He gets away from it well. The Ghost is running on. Grey Emblem. 
Campbell is beaten. Retained is running on as well, but it looks like Satan's Curse has got this one in the bag. Up towards the line, Satan's Curse wins it. The Ghost is second and retained is third. Biloxi Blues was fourth. And then came Grey Emblem and Flaming Ted and Rosa Motta trot around at the back. So Satan's Curse wins it for Jim Murray. The Ghost is second, retained is third. And Biloxi Blues was fourth. Another winner for Jim Murray. He's having a